welcome back to the channel and of course we are back with our daily pgv update and the keen eyes of you have probably already noticed this right here usdc rewards are set to zero we'll dive into all of the details in this video what's happening with the refunds with the delays postpones where are the funds all of that stuff but of course before we get any further remember the normal disclaimer here that nothing in this video is financial advice please always do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose i feel like the disclaimer no one's where well, you can't invest in pgv anyway but just gotta say that so first thing usdc the rewards are gone which I basically is suggesting, I don't know, that the bots have maybe lost the funds or they can't pay them. I'm not too sure, but no rewards for USDC. In theory, we still should get back our initial deposits, but who really knows on that front? But we're going to the Discord because we've had so many posts. So, yesterday, well, Manny have deleted a lot of the announcements. Now, and he posted saying it was like 3 p.m., EST would get an update and then it got pushed back and then he changed the time zone so he got an extra two hours but finally eventually he posted this update which I think was like three hours later than it originally should have been posted because he said he was going to start sending out refunds or like show the wallet or something at that time but instead we got this post I'm letting everyone know now remaining we refunds have been delayed until Friday I'll be delivering all of the remaining refunds, including USDC contract self refunds Friday. I am moving me and my family to a safe location with security. Someone tried to kill me today. I'm not putting my family's life at risk, nor myself. If you're one of the people who are trying to come after me, please stop. You're just delaying everyone from being refunded by requiring me to move my family around. My children were taken out of school and more. Once I get me and my family to a safe place, I will finish out these refunds this Friday. I can't work in an unsafe place at the risk of my family or me getting hurt or worse. I'll protect my family at any cost. I can't believe people are doing this. And then we have a, I guess, an alleged text picture. I'm not sure because it doesn't, this doesn't look like a Discord message. It looks like just a, like a text message. You lucky bro, you got away this time. Next time you see, I sending more at you. Which, people were waiting all day for like in a post regarding refunds. And I feel like this was kind of like a kick in the face. Because that he doesn't mention anything and it's now been pushed back to Friday. Like, can you at least send like a couple? It doesn't, if you have the funds, it literally takes about one minute to send one refund at least send one maybe but yeah people judging by the reacts were not happy with this at all then we had a message from pocket which i was what well, i quite liked so pocket i'm not sure other admins like myself have dms blowing up right now i'm trying to go through them all individually but as fast as i can go through one three more comes in guys we don't know any more than you but I can say he has reached out saying this is true in our admin chat as well. So yeah, if you are wondering, the admins don't actually know anything else more than us. They haven't seen the funds. They don't get these messages in advance. They literally watch the general chat and know, well, get the details when we get them as well. I get how unbelievable this is and the timing. I've given him a lifeline asking for anything to help us know if this or money is true as that's most of your DMs to me so far. I know most of you, other than two people in PTC chat, know that I'm not in the know any more than you guys. As I've said, just like admins, I stay because I have at least the trust and ability to DM him to try and get things moving in a positive direction. I also know and have DMs to prove it that many of you are silently, other than DMs, in pain from financial strain this is having on your life and that is why i'm still here i get dms daily saying to distance myself and i won't as long as there is a chance i can help in the way to get the funds back from you we'll open the chat in five minutes but 
Be kind, be patient. Do not attack anyone who say something you don't like. Most of all, please know we as admins are only investors right now and in the same positions as you. Yes, different values, different backgrounds, but we are here. I hope this message can get nothing but positive emojis, but we will take what we can get. And I'm still working on DMs. So yeah, basically pocket confirming that admins don't really know anything more than us. Of course, they have a direct communication line with Manny, but he's not giving them like any extra details. And then we had a post from Manny, well two more actually. This was a couple hours later. Everyone, I'm on for one minute. I'm strictly mobile right now as I'm moving to a different location. I'm going to have someone I trust, a family member, change USDC rewards to zero. This will stop more and more rewards from being generated as we are no longer producing rewards. Once we do refunds on Friday and pump contract, Friday for BSC USDC, we will turn rewards back on. Which I don't think is going to be happening, but we'll see. Everyone will still get to come up on top of rewards from USDC. There are many who want, uh, who seem to want to call me a psycho and so on. Some of you have no idea what me and my family have gone through. And many of you don't understand that this proof is shown. This opens up to people to publicly see everything, which put me at risk for craziness to come after me and my family. I know many of you who are family were in this situation, you would be doing the same as I'm doing now, which is getting me and my family to a safe location. No one, I mean, no one wants to work having constantly worrying about watching his or her back and family back. People also talk about how it's been months. Yes, it has. But in those months, thousands of people have been refunded. I'm sorry for protecting my family in any way. I don't need to share proof of anything as I've been advised not to, as it all it does is put me and my family at risk. Many of these people want to hurt, even kill me and my family. And showing me, uh, show more and more proof only brings more attention to me and puts us at risk. The many messages I've had from people, threats, talking about Hitman and so on. I have screenshots of each and every one. True craziness. Going to get this done on Friday and that is it. I'm going to be going above and beyond to get this done. But as I will, um, anymore, I'm sure I would do what I need to protect myself and family. And then we have a screenshot. When we find your family members in less than 12 hours, I'll hunt them down and peel their skin off their bones while they're begging for mercy just like you do now and then we had one more post here's what i'm doing friday april 14th 2023 remaining refunds will start getting sent out usdc contract will be pumped and rewards will be turned back on they are just off for now so it stops accumulating rewards everyone will still be receiving rewards along with self-refund from USDC contract. We'll be turning rewards back on Friday after we pump contract. After Friday, once we're done, we'll be closing down for PGV for good. As I've stated, my family had a real threat yesterday and we're currently moving to another location, so I'm strictly mobile right now. Once we arrive, I'll finish this out, which is Friday, and everyone can move on from PGV. So, for USDC, them turning it off to then turn back on, how this smart contract works is they set a percent and the number of days equals that percent is your pending rewards. So when they turn it back on, if they put it back to the same percent, that it would be the same rewards accumulating, which basically means that they're going to set it to a lower percent so people don't see their rewards drop. So who knows on terms of that? To be honest, I'm happy just with deposits at this point. In terms of Manny moving his family to a safe location, surely if you want to truly be safe, you wouldn't say that you're moving because then people would know that you're moving. You would do it like silently. That's point number one. Point number two is, why can't he send refunds while he's moving? Like he works on a laptop, I do believe. That's point number two. And point number three, he has said many times given an exact date saying remaining refunds will be sent on that day so who knows if we will receive them on friday but yeah tomorrow i do have some transactions which might actually be the funds wallet so stay tuned for that one but yeah thank you for watching hope you have enjoyed and i'll see you all in my next video